Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to create an ERC721 upgradable smart contract. So for this tutorial, I have created a simple ERC721 smart contract, which we will make it upgradable together in this tutorial. Before we go into the concept, I just want to deploy the current version of the contract and show you its features. So let's first compile the current version and deploy it on uh, Remix Virtual Machine London just for testing. I've uh, deployed it successfully. Let's extend. And as you can see, it's a simple ERC721. You can mint tokens, transfer, etc. That all the features ERC721 standard has, this contract has. Uh, so additionally, I've added to another library, URI storage and ownable library, open Zeppelin libraries. Uh, these are not necessary, but I, I prefer uh, using them on my project. So I just added them. If you want, if you don't want to use them, you can remove uh, them. And inside the contract, inside the smart contract, we have mint function to mint tokens, burn for uh, removing our tokens and token URI, uh, which we we can get our uh, token URI simply. So let's mint our first token. We, we got the success message and token ID is increased from zero to one and uh, the zero token is the, the string we have just minted here. So guys, let's make this contract upgradable. For making this contract upgradable, first we need to replace all the libraries with their upgradable version. Uh, I mean, this library needs to be replaced. Uh, I don't want to add them at these libraries just one by one. Um, I'm going to copy paste them. I'm just pasting them below. So as you can see, for ERC721, we have ERC721 upgradable library. For URI storage, we have URI storage upgradable. And for Omnable, we have Omnable upgradable. All the libraries have their upgradable version. Uh, now I'm going to delete them, previous version versions. And additionally, we need uh, two libraries, uh, which is initializable and UUPS upgradable. Now, after adding this, importing these libraries, uh, we also need to replace them inside the code base. Uh, you can see they are, these are previous versions, so I'm going to replace them. One more thing, uh, we we extending this contract with uh, this tree, but we also extend this contract with initializable and UPS upgradable as well. So let's add them. Now, when we when we uh, compile the contract, we we are going to get some errors. Uh, so when we scroll down and read the actual error, oh, we can see here uh, there is a function that we need to add to the contract as well. So let's add that to. We are going to make it internal. Available for only owner. Uh, we are going to use only owner uh, modifier, which comes from the ownable upgradable uh, library. And we are going to uh, make it uh, override to overwrite the existing uh, function inside the UUPS upgradable. So let's let's uh, look at that. I did that uh, before. So here you can see we have authorize upgrade function, which is internal and virtual. Uh, so whenever we upgrade the upgrade our contract to new version to new implementation, this authorize upgrade uh, function is going to be run, and uh, when we overwrite that. The codes we we write here is going to be called at first. So we can do any kind of configurations when we upgrade uh, to new version. I don't write anything here. I just added only owner modifier and this uh, going to 
uh, upgrade function only accessible for owner i don't want any uh, other person upgrade my uh, uh, upgrade my contract i just want to i just want it to accessible for owners or owner so we're still getting error uh, in the con in the constructor uh, you can read the error uh, in the upgradable smart contracts we are not using constructors we we using the initialize function whenever a proxy contract is deployed that function is going to run so we need to add uh, initial configurations inside the initialize function so let's remove this for now and add a new function called initialize We need to add this modifier initializer and we we are going to make it public and as i uh, as i said as i mentioned inside the initialize function we are going to um, we are going to make all the configurations not inside the constructor so first of all i'm going to add erc721 in it inside it i'm going to add a uh, name and symbol of my contract i just call it panda and for the symbol, uh, I'm telling PND. So we need to init also URI storage. This would be any library we we want to use. We we need to uh, we need to initialize. We need to configure here. For ownable, we need to call ownable in it, and. Lastly, we need to call UPS upgradable init here. So let's compile it now. Yeah, we got the success message. And inside the constructor, we are going to call disable initializers function. So let's call it. This function prevents any future reinitializations. If we are going to open initializable library, and scroll down uh, you can see that function is here and you can read from here what it is for and as you can see it is recommended to use for safety uh, yeah now we are good to go so let's compile it again and just let's test it out I'm I'm going to clear the previous contract uh, when I deploy the contract it's going to be deployed but uh, when I extend and click name I see nothing owner I see zero address uh, this is because I just uh, deployed uh, the contract like like implementation contract this is not an actual proxy contract not an actual upgradable contract um, because I did all the um, configurations inside the initialize function uh, when we when we deployed our previous contract which uh, which wasn't upgradable smart contract we don't have these options we didn't have these options deploy with proxy and upgrade with proxy so now when we deploy our contract I'm going to check this box deploy with proxy and click the button the deployment process of the upgradable smart contracts takes uh, two steps uh, one for the implementation contract and one for the actual upgradable uh, proxy contract we just we need to approve these steps so let's approve and approve this as well yeah i think we successfully deployed our upgradable smart contract and uh, the first one is the implementation contract when we click name and owner uh, these are same as before and when we extend the uh, proxy version proxy contract we can actually interact with these methods um, yeah it returns the values so let's let's mint some tokens i will show you how to upgrade this contract to the new version I call it test 1, test 2 and test 3 you can see the tokens successfully minted 
and now let's say uh, let's say we made some changes to this contract uh, I don't know we added some methods new methods uh, let's let's add a method for testing I'm going to add a simple uh, function called test it's going to return uh, static string I'm going to make it public um, here and it's, it just returns a static string let's compile it uh, so I successfully compiled that and let's copy the co uh, proxy contract address I copy the proxy contract address here and if I add it here and click that button it, it is going to open that address with this implementation with this interface and when I extend that I see a function called test which we added just before and when I click that uh, that button uh, this is not going to be this is not going to work I say why yeah when I click it it returns nothing and it shows me error here because we didn't upgrade that contract yet so to upgrade this contract let's minimize it for now and deploy a uh, new contract not not uh, with proxy just the implementation contract let's deploy it and you can see it's deployed successfully and uh, copy the address add it to the uh, upgrade to function and let's confirm the transaction we successfully uh, upgraded our previous version to this new version and now when we click this test button it should work yeah as you can see it returns the function which uh, which wasn't exist in the previous version but we successfully added to that to here and uh, if you want to test the tokens uh, they are also here not missing anything yeah so guys this was the end uh, I hope you understand everything this was my first video uh thank thank you for watching and uh my english is not that good i try my best to explain everything so pardon me if i made mistakes yeah thanks for watching